Yo, what up YouTube? Explosive movement patterns here, back again with yet another video. And in this video today, I'll be discussing with you the importance of getting yourself in a competitive setting in order to achieve better athleticism gains. Now, whenever you're training by yourself, chances are you're not necessarily reaching your full capacity when it comes to exerting maximum physical effort. You might be at 95% or 97%, but if you're training by yourself, you might be missing out on really getting to that 99 or 100% maximum effort. The reason this is important is because whenever you're trying to improve, when it comes to doing something like sprinting, jumping, agility, or any other form of athleticism, getting close to that maximum effort is really important when you're trying to push your limits and improve. So if you're not ever getting close to that maximum effort, then you're missing out on improving in that area because you're never pushing yourself to the maximum physical capability and you're not getting yourself into that zone where you can work for improvement. So to get through this, you need to get yourself in a competitive setting. The reason why you get into a competitive setting and it helps so much is because when you're in that mindset of competing, you're going to find yourself pushing yourself to the maximum. You might notice this whenever you maybe play some sports like pick up basketball and then afterwards you're jumping higher than you know you do in your workouts. It's because you're getting in that competitive setting, you're getting that adrenaline going, your nervous system is really fired up and you're really ready to push your body to the maximum it can be. So this can also apply to if you want to get a training partner or a friend, somebody who's going to push you and you do something like sprints or agility drills. Having that person there pushing you, making you compete, getting your nervous system fired up and really pushing you to your limits is going to help you in the long run because when you're working at that 100% capacity, you're improving in that area as opposed to always doing work in the sub-maximal plane. So when you're trying to improve athleticism, maybe you've noticed some gains, but if you're stagnating, get yourself in a competitive environment that's going to really force you to give out maximum effort. Because when you give out maximum effort, you're going to notice a difference in how the workout feels. Because there is a difference between working out at 90%, working out at 95%, and then really pushing yourself to compete at the maximum level. And by doing that, you're getting another aspect of your training. You're training your fast switch fibers, you're training your explosive power, and you're training rate of force development to the maximum of your capabilities. So when you want to improve athleticism, it's very important to sometimes put yourself in an extremely competitive setting that's going to force you to push to your limits because in the long run, that's going to yield more gains as if you're only working out by yourself or if you're never getting into that competitive mindset. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Get out there, compete, really push yourself to the maximum. You're going to see great results. Explosive Movement Pattern signing off. Peace.